I'm continuing to run through the list of engineers, and we've finally made it to Zacharia Nemo. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Lead Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. We're unlocking more engineers, and we made it to Zacharia Nemo this time. This guy does mainly fragmentation cannons, that's mostly why you would unlock this guy. He is a second level dead end engineer, not something we have a lot. What I mean by that is second level means there's only one engineer you need to unlock before you get to him. And dead end meaning that he does not, uh, he's not a prerequisite for any engineers further on. Um, but as always, we are going to go through the three steps we need to go through, learn about him, access to the base and get access to the engineering facilities with the favor you need to do for him. And at the end, I'm going to give some recommendations for what um, what upgrades I would recommend you do when you need to level him up, if, which I assume you will if you're going to unlock him. But <clears throat> first of all, let's go and let's have a look at uh, what we need to do in order to actually unlock this guy. There he is. Okay, so we can see here to learn about him, you need to um, get the knowledge from uh, Elvira Matsuk. I've already done a video on Elvira Matsuk how you can unlock her and how you can level her up so if you haven't watched that click the uh, more info icon um just above me here and that will take you to that video showing you how to unlock her so once you've gone through that you now should at least have the knowledge that nemo actually exists and the first thing we need to do is we need to um to get allied i think allied with the with the party of um of yoru which is in the Euro system, same system as the engineer. The system does not have, have a permit lock, so it's not like with Marco Quint where you have to grind it outside. You can go straight to the system and go to one of their um, one of their bases. When you arrive in system, though, be, um, note that you cannot see any stations with a large landing pad right away. But here on the fifth planet, there is a... Um, a surface station here where you can actually land so of course it will require horizons to get down to uh, to the surface to get to this station once you're at this surface station you can do several things um if we go into the mission board of course we can see that indeed we do have the party of yoru here in system and these are the guys we need to level up you can see i've done here i'm already allied with them what you can do is you can do i have two recommendations for you either you go and run the road to riches um, which is the exploration method where you get a lot of exploration data very quickly. And then you go to any station that's owned by this um, this faction, Party of Yogi. This could be this station, for instance, and you sell that exploration data to the station. If you don't know what uh, the Road to Riches is, I have a video on that as well. I will link to that up in the info icon as well, so you can go and watch that. Um, that's a very fast way I I think you will need, I can't remember if it's around about 8 or 10, maybe 12 million um, worth of exploration data in order to get uh, to get allied, which is something you should be able to do in about uh, an hour, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how efficient you are and how lucky you are with your systems. But if you're not going to do it with the um, exploration method, what you can then do is you can go and run missions. As you can see here, they offer a variety of missions. There are some skimmer attack missions. Um, I have seen that they, of course, depend on the other state of the system. This can change depending on what uh, economic state the system is in. But sometimes they will offer boom data delivery missions. Of course, you can only take from this single agent. Don't take from the others because they will not give you the right uh, standing. But they also, as you can see here, offer donation missions, which is by far one of the fastest way you can get your standing up. So that's another way you can go in and just do donation missions, do some easy missions, or basically do any missions in here that you want. Whatever you feel like is uh, is fun, um, but just run some missions for the guys or sell some exploration data. So once we've gotten allied and we have the inv invitation mission and we completed that as well, we now have access to the base where Nemo is actually at. Again, same system, just surface on another planet. The last thing we need to do, um, that is we need to deliver uh, 25 units of uh, CE um, companions and these Sihi companions can of course be located in the uh, in the Sihi system so um, let's just very quickly here open up our galaxy map and let's see where that system is located I have it here in my 
clip holder. There you go. You can see it is quite far away. We are 132 uh, almost. Um, Light years away, so you'll need a ship with a good jump range. You don't need that much cargo. We only need, again, 25 units, and we might not be able to carry all of that at one spot. Let's head out to Sihi, and I'll show you how you can get your hands on those components. Once we are in system and we've docked at the said dock, we are going to open up the commodity market. And here we're going to scroll down. We're going to scroll down quite a bit. We're going to go down to technology. There we go. And at the bottom of technology, we now see, and we can indeed buy them here. But notice that the supply is only 10. This varies based on system stats, status, so I have 10 right now, I think that's the lowest you can get, but I've seen people reporting that they're going to get up the 20s, in the 30s maybe, um, but again, in my case, only 10. And board hopping doesn't refresh it, if you have it, if you buy the 10, which is the limit, it's basically a rare commodity, so it works like any other rare commodity, if you buy the 10, that's the limit, or you have it in your cargo hold, there's no way to get any more other than flying with these, back delivering the first 10 then coming back and picking up the next 10 you'll have to do obviously three trips to get the 25 units that you need alternatively what you could do if you have a friend around who's willing to help you you can have your friend come here as well he or she could pick up those 10 units as well then you could go outside the station go outside the no fire zone so you don't get a uh, um a fine and then jettison them and then you pick them up with either olympus or just scooping them with them um, with your cargo hatch so you can gather more um, before you leave, so you can get maybe all of them. Because now that your French cargo hold is empty, they can go back into the station, and after about 10 minutes, the, the, um, the market will reset, and they can buy it again. So that's the way to do it. Alternatively, you're more than welcome to come by um, my Discord server, the link in the description below, where you can come then ask in the Elite Dangerous chat over there, is there someone who's willing to help you? There might be, otherwise just ask on voice chat. There may be someone willing to come and give you help. So, we're going to start by um, by buying these, we're going to do our, our trips back and forth and back and forth to the engineer until we deliver 25 of them. Once we're back at Nemo's Cyber Party base and we've delivered all the uh, materials that he wanted, we now have access to his engineering facilities. So if we go into the engineering shop, the last thing we need to do is, I'm going to give my recommendation on what you can collect, what I think is the easiest, in terms of leveling him, him, uh, him up. Um, I would recommend going for a fragmentation cannon upgrade. And uh, they are sold on the station, so you can buy them here if you just want to use one for leveling him up. And I think one of the easiest is probably high capacity magazine in terms of the materials used. We can see here... Um, um, mechanical scrap is needed here, and here we need some vanadium, and we need some uh, other other materials here, some tin, high density composite, and mechanical equipment. It's all material that is fairly easy to come by. Um, and of course, if you are going to go with grade five, you do need some more um, uh, some more difficult materials. But all in all, at least getting him to grade five, this is probably one of the easiest um, in terms of material gathered. And if you have any questions regarding where you can find different materials i have a spreadsheet that i'm going to link in the description below it holds a list of all the engineering materials you're ever going to need and then to all of them there is a short description including a video link to a guide so you can see a video guide on how to get the materials it's a very very useful i it was one i made for myself but i decided to publish it so you guys can benefit from it as well and if you find that uh, that sheet useful, um, I would be honored if you would consider becoming a Patreon and supporting the channel. Everything raised through Patreon goes directly towards helping increase the quality of the videos, better cameras, microphones, lighting setup, that kind of stuff. But that is pretty much all there is to Nemo, not the most difficult engineer. I really hope you liked this video today. If you did, give it a like down below. Remember to subscribe to the channel and until next time, I will see you guys in space.